Um, first of all, I'm going to start this video with a, a confession. I had to, for the past several days, just sit before the Lord in tears and anguish because I've had so many people over the years say so many hateful and so many horrible things um, to me that I allowed it to get under my skin and I started resenting uh, just the haters on YouTube, the trolls, and uh, the people that uh, publicly come out with comments and just say the most vile, cruel things. Um, anyway, today I, I want to just tell everybody that's watched any of my videos, I'm sorry if any of my videos have offended you. And I'm sorry if you haven't understood them. Um, I had to come before the Lord and and be reconciled for these feelings that I've had. And uh, I also had to be validated again by the Lord. And I will stand here before everyone and say, uh, yeah, I'm a harbinger. Uh, I didn't ask for the job, but he gave it to me. Uh, the name of my sunglass company before I got saved was called Vampires. We had a tagline that said, come out of the darkness and into the light with vampire sunglasses. And um, that was a marketing premise that I owned for our sunglass company. Um, and the Lord gave me a gift where he showed me that the enemy turns everything upside down and that there's a right side up upside down paradigm that exists and that's how the enemy uh, communicates and, and he showed me you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free and you'll you'll know the Jesus and you will have the keys to the kingdom of heaven um, a lot of y'all may not understand that and maybe you haven't watched my other videos and that's okay um, but for all the people that hate me I just want to say I, God bless you and I mean that. God have mercy on you. And and if I could literally stand in front of a bullet knowing that you would get saved from for taking that bullet for you, I would do it. And that's my heart. That is the heart of Jonathan Cleck. That I would stand in front of a bullet to make sure that someone else could get saved, that their soul would be saved. And that is my heart. And I just want to make that known to everyone that's out there that may hate me, that may have said I'm a false prophet. I really, really, really mean this. God have mercy on you. And I'm so sorry that you don't understand this amazing, amazing gift that God has given me to give to you. But Jesus was very clear to me, very, very clear to me when I prayed this morning what I was to do. And he showed me that, yes, he chose me to deliver this message. That's why my name means what it means. It means Yahweh has given a bell ringer, a messenger that sounds an alarm. Um, you know, the time is coming. Uh, I'm going to show you something that's happened here at the General Assembly of the United Nations. Um, and I'll let you do what you want with it. <clears throat> but I want you to understand the way the Lord allows me to see things. And the first thing I, I'm going to ask, uh, you know, my buddy that's doing the editing, uh, to show you an, an image of a sheep with its tongue sticking out um, from the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. And then if I turn it right side up, you'll see that it's actually Nefertiti. If I take an image of the Virgin... And I turn it upside down, it becomes a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Oh. And those two images I just transcended over 3,500 years with the same paradigm. Um, that's supernatural. And if you don't see the supernaturalness in it, you, you, you'll never understand. And that's okay. You weren't meant to understand. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I just mean you weren't meant to understand. Um... The General Assembly of the United Nations is met, or I'm, is, is going to meet this week. I want you to look at their logo. It's a six and a nine. It's a it's a 69th session, and 
the six and the nine represent uh, right side up, upside down paradigm. There's also 13 rows of stripes which represent the United States flag. It also represents the UN building, but the message in this is that the United States has fallen to the right side up, upside down paradigm, which is Satan himself. That's why there's a lightning bolt between the six and the nine. Barack Obama is leading the 69th General Assembly of the United Nations. Uh, Barack means lightning, Obama means from heaven. So there's your hidden meaning in the logo. There's a lightning bolt between the six and the nine. There's 13 stripes, represents the United States. There's 19 pillars that represent the flagpoles. There's actually, I believe, 193 nations. They put 19 flagpoles, and it represents judgment. Um, I don't know what's going to happen this week, if anything, but I do know one thing. I'm a harbinger, and Jesus is coming. There's only one way to the Father, and that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's it. There's no other way. And if you don't come as a beggar looking for bread, you'll never come to the kingdom. You have to come with nothing. And you have to ask. And he'll, he'll give you the bread of life. God bless all you people. God have mercy on everybody. Amen. It was on top of Mount Sinai that God gave Moses the dates and observances of the seven feasts of the Lord, which are Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, Pentecost, trumpets, atonements, and then the Feast of Tabernacles. It is interesting to note that the Hebrew word for feasts is moed, which more literally translated means divine appointments. And more importantly, all seven feasts point to and are fulfilled in Jesus. These feasts are separated into two seasons, the spring feasts and the fall feasts. Jesus was crucified on Passover. He was then buried on the Feast of Unleavened Bread and resurrected on the Feast of First Fruits. Fifty days later, the Holy Spirit was given to us on Pentecost. Now, the entire human race exists between the feasts of the spring and fall, which represent the church age. The Lord is harvesting believers and patiently beckoning those who will follow him until the fall feasts come.